Similar to what we did in the previous episode, we can apply graphical transformations to spectrograms too. We take Jean-Francois Charles' ideas on transforming spectrograms into jitter matrices and back and fiddle around with it. You can look up the details of the process in his impressive tutorials because we're only interested in the graphic stuff here. I've prepared a short sample I recorded with the Korg Volker FM and saved the spectrogram as a jitter JXF file so we can just read it in here. Down here I have a playback section that just comprises the chit peaking necessary to reconstruct the sound via inverse FFT, which is exactly what this play transform PFFT patch does. Now we need to understand that the original matrix consists of two planes. One for the amplitude and one for the phase response of the spectrogram. Hence we can either choose to chit unpack them and treat them separately, or to leave them interleaved and transform both at the same time. Let's do a resynthesis run without any transformation to understand how this works. First we have to invert the Y dimension with JIT dim map, otherwise the spectrogram will look unfamiliar because lower frequencies are plotted in the top area and high ones in the bottom. Ok, let's just run the JIT data stream into the transformed spectrum matrix and resynthesize it using the above mentioned PFFT patch. Sounds a bit blurry, but that's because of the window size used in this example. I'll leave it up to you to google the time frequency resolution trade-off that is inherent to the DFT approach. We chit unpack and see two plots. The first looks familiar, it's an amplitude spectrogram where brightness denotes intensity. The second much less so, and that's because it's the phase spectrogram of the sample. However, as we all know, phase information is critical to reconstruct all your frames from spectral information. I've prepared a few b-patches so we can focus on the transformations rather than build everything from scratch. The first one is a wrapper around JIT rotor again. Using just zooming and offsetting we can build a simple pitch shifter and timescaler, but using the built-in bound modes also proves an interesting tool to freeze and fold samples over time and frequency.
What we can do here, as compared to the static transformations we employed thus far, is create temporarily dynamic effects. For example, chit streak is an object that smears single pixels depending on the probability, scale and direction parameters. If we combine this with a feedforward crossfading from episode 4 of this playlist, we can create slowly evolving, compelling drones. A similar effect is Chit Sprinkle. It also adds pixels based on a probability parameter, but does so in a bounding box defined by X range and Y range rather than smearing individual pixels. Combined with the feedforward crossfit again, we can generate all sorts of self-transforming soundscapes. <laughs> 